Last night, while a lot of people were maybe preemptively mourning the death of Twitter and sort of like, you know, reminiscing on the good times or thanking the people who made the experience not always absolutely awful. Elon Musk was delighting in the chaos as a significant portion of his employees flipped him the bird and fled the company. He was doing things like this. So AOC tweeted, shout out to all the workers at Twitter. You all built a vital place for connection and deserved so much better. Millions of people appreciate the space you built and the hard work that went into it, thank you. And he responded to her, you're welcome because he is not going to allow like an expression of admiration for the working class to go without him undercutting it in some way. This guy despises workers more than anyone else in the country potentially. He combined that with trying to distract with squirrels, putting out this meme, FTX losing over a billion dollars of client funds. And oh, oh, senators are calling for the FTC to investigate Twitter, you see? They're focusing on Twitter, why aren't they focusing on the FTX thing, except that as people point out, they are, they're already talking about investigations into that particular, the DOJ is talking about it, individual senators are talking about that. And by the way, how about this? Look into both. I'm not happy with either of these people conning massive numbers of people. And even as all these employers were going away, he was talking about how we've hit an all time high in Twitter usage, which might or might not even be true because he routinely just lies about the facts of what's going on at Twitter. Um, but even if so, people were logging on to talk about it ending. It doesn't mean it's an expression of the changes you made are working well. And then he goes on, he does things like this. He posts, how do you make a small fortune in social media? Start out with a large one. <laughs> See, that's supposed to be self-deprecating, except like with virtually every joke he tells, he had just been sent that message, didn't even have like the common courtesy to like the Elon Musk fans tweet who sent it to him. And then just posted it. He did that with virtually every one of the memes he put out. He does it every single time. And Elon Musk fan is like, please notice me. He doesn't even like it. He takes it, he posts it for himself as if he came up with it. He can't even be authentically self deprecating. My favorite thing about all this is he could have done every single thing he's doing on Twitter without buying it. He could be a yeah. little, little schmuck. He and was. And he could he years. could have done all of that stuff just as effectively. He didn't realize that he couldn't he shouldn't have bought Twitter. It's so yeah. stupid. Can I, can and I also, yeah, back? like there's an all time high for Twitter usage. Even if that's true, that's like saying there's an all time high for people in stopping and looking at a train wreck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. when there's a train wreck. It doesn't when they it's clean hard. it up after the wreckage has stopped smoldering. Then there won't be as many people there to look at it. Yeah, it's just like what are, what are we going to do? This is the uncertainty that he creates, and I just don't see how he's going to capitalize it on on it unless like he shorts his own stock. Yeah, well, and and maybe maybe there's some sort of financial long game, but uh, I don't know if Twitter is going to die. But best case scenario, it manages to hold on somewhat like it was before. Like he came in. With all of his genius and know how, what change has he made that's improved it? Even he, Elon Musk fan, can they even point to anything? You can buy a fake version of a verification check mark. I guess that's better for some people, I suppose. Anyway, I want to read this real quick. Dave Portnoy, our stool sports president, he, he tweeted this. What do people mean when they say Twitter is going to shut down? Doesn't it kind of run itself? I feel like engineers are for changes, not to just keep it running. I also don't know anything. Hey, Elon Musk, want to do a Twitter space with me? I'm confused. If he is not joking there, that is that is amazing. The misunderstanding of how any of this works. But in response, Elon Musk did reply to him because there is a certain sort of person he will reply to on Twitter and says the best people are staying, so I'm not super worried. That's not how that works either. Like. Like the, the the three or four most loyal engineers are not necessarily the thing that's going to save this. That's not how big tech companies work. Uh, the best part about this is when for, for years you would go on Twitter and the queue that they give you right to indicate where to write your status just is what's happening question mark. Mm -hmm. Never before in the history of Twitter does, has it seemed like Twitter itself is asking you, <laughs> no, seriously, what's happening? <laughs> you got you got to give me something. What is going Please. on?
Anyway, you're going through the everyone, changes. It's painful. Um, we all went through them. Exactly. Uh, and it, it, look, it is just, it's a weird thing. Like a lot of people have been like consoling everyone by saying like, you know what, it, it's it's tough. This is tough for organizers. A lot of people who've organized, especially for marginalized communities, it's been an important site to do that. A lot of independent journalists don't have an equivalent that they can easily switch over to, to promote their work. This is going to hurt a lot of people. And uh, some have said, well, don't worry. There, there are lots of text, like so, social media sites you used to use that you don't anymore, we'll move on. And that's true in a meta zoomed out sense, but it's never worked like this before. Those sites died because people chose to go away because better things happened. It wasn't killed while it was working without a replacement in place. It wasn't that a billionaire man baby came in and just wrecked the entire thing in 17 days. This is actually novel on the internet. It's never worked like this before. He could have taken money and created his own social media site for less than forty-four Way billion dollars. Way cheaper. <laughs> Way cheaper. No, but that's not what he does. You know his career. Everybody yeah. thinks he invented all this stuff. He comes in and buys companies that already exist to engineer products. And I will remind you, he's not an engineer and he's not building the cars and the rockets. That's not actually how this works. And there's some pretty amazing investigative journalism going on about exactly what degrees he actually has. So you can look that up too. But anyway, he comes in and they they have products and he might pre pre Twitter, he might have even been able to make the case that while he's you know viciously censorious to his own workers, he has no respect for them whatsoever, despises unions, he's terrible in that respect. You could maybe say that at least as a manager, they deliver products. In the case of Tesla, often years and years after they say they will and all that, but they do at least deliver. He was never an engineer, but he could have made the case he was a manager. Now he's ruining even that. But that said, it's, there are some quick, quick final point. Yeah, I would say that he's always been the man. He's always been that kind of manager. The thing is, there was never a, a working company quite like you know the ones that he's famous for. Uh, Tesla and SpaceX, it's it's not like they had the cars and they had the rockets first. He just always was able to throw human death and suffering at, at them until they existed. Um, but now he's taking a working rocket and throwing his stupidity at it until it breaks. Yeah, 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 I guess when he was doing Tesla and SpaceX, the most important thing to him wasn't having cat turd think he's clever. Turns out that can undercut your ability to manage a comp. Like if if the most important thing to you is that like right wing grifters that don't even live in America opining about Donald Trump, the most important thing is that they like you. When he's literally responding to Kyle Rittenhouse on Twitter, maybe that's gonna undercut your ability to deliver on your supposed goals.